Hello everybody. So today we are going to make um, some chicken alfredo lasagna. Um, I'm going to make two of them. One is going to be for the freezer. I actually do this frequently. Um, I'll make an extra of something to put it in the freezer for a later date. So that's what we're going to do in this video today. Okay, so I am going to start with chopping up some bacon. Everything else for this recipe is chopped already. We're going to use the pre-chopped onions and peppers out of the freezer. So we're going to add some bacon to this recipe. Our family tends to like bacon in our Alfredo. So I'm going to add it to this lasagna. I find adding a little bit of bacon to your Alfredo chicken alfredo, it's specifically chicken, um, tastes really good together. So I'm just going to separate this a little bit here and then I'm going to pick some of my parsley here, just one sec. I don't have a ton but it'll be enough to stick in our sauce here so I just want to chop that up at the same time. Here. Okay so I have all of the stuff ready here. We're going to use ground chicken in this recipe um, for the chicken portion of the dish. I didn't really want to use diced chicken breast. I think ground chicken would work best. So let's start sauteing this up with some garlic and then we'll start making the Alfredo sauce too. Okay, so let's start sauteing the bacon. We don't want to put the parsley in this portion. I mean, if some of it gets in there, it's not that big of a deal. Saute the bacon. Just one sec, I gotta get the, the garlic. Okay, we still have some of the garlic left over from when we were preserving it. So we're gonna finish using this today. Let's turn this up. Okay, so we're gonna take some of the onions that we chopped and put in the freezer. Saute that with the bacon. Because we are making two lasagnas, I am going to add quite a bit of these. These are all the onions we chopped together. See how they're all separated? Looks great. Okay. Then we're going to add a small handful of peppers. I don't want too many peppers in this. My son isn't a huge fan of peppers, so I try to, to limit how many I use. I'll go like that. Eh, maybe a little bit more. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to let this saute for a minute, and then we're going to add the rest of the ingredients to the pan. Okay, so while this is simmering, we're going to start on the sauce. I'm going to make homemade Alfredo sauce. So I'm going to put about, I'm doubling the recipe here, so I'm going to put about six tablespoons of butter. I'm just eyeballing this. Four, five, a little bit more in there. Okay, so it's about approximately six. Okay, we're just going to let that melt down for a minute and then we're going to add some Actually, while this is milking down, let's add the garlic. We're going to add the rest of this garlic in here. Might even need a little bit more than this. Let me go look at the recipe and see if we need more than that. Yes, we do. So I'm going to use some of the jarred stuff that I still have. We needed to like double that. I'm going to get my whisk out. Just, do, just stirring everything at the same time here. Okay, I'm going to add some dehydrated spinach to this to get it rehydrated. Got it right here. This is why I love having it dehydrated. I can use it in anything and only have to use the amount that I need. <laughs> it's one of my favorite things to dehydrate. 
and it rehydrates super fast. Might even add a little bit more than that, we'll see. Okay. Okay, now I just need to add a little bit of flour to this. So this is about two tablespoons of flour. I'm just going to mix it right in. I'm going to turn this down a little bit just because I don't want it to burn. I'm going to get the heavy cream ready. You can use half and half too if that's all you have. Got that all over me. <laughs> Let that simmer up a little bit. I am going to add just a tiny bit more flour. This isn't quite as thick as I want. I'm going to add another tablespoon or so. We'll see if we need any more. Let's add a little bit of the milk, see if it'll help thicken it. Yes, there we go. Okay, so we're going to add more of the heavy cream here. I like doing this in stages. It helps thicken it better. If you do it all at once too much, sometimes it takes too long to thicken it. Or sometimes it won't thicken at all. That's just from my experience. I'm going to add a tiny bit of salt, not a lot, because we are going to add a lot of Parmesan cheese to this. Parmesan cheese tends to be a little salty. I like to add it later and then taste it. I'm going to add a lot of black pepper to this. I'm going to add some to this too, since we didn't add any, which is super weird of me. A little bit of salt, not too much, because there's lots of bacon in this mixture here. Bacon's quite salty. I like to watch the salt levels in everything I cook. Okay, so it's starting to thicken up again, so we can add some more heavy cream to this. We are going to need quite a bit of Alfredo sauce, so I do want to make sure we have enough here. Okay, I'm going to let that thicken for a minute. I'm going to add the parsley to the Alfredo sauce. Okay, so for this mixture here, I'm just gonna let this simmer for a minute. This is ready now to put the ground chicken into it. So I did buy three packages. I don't know if we're gonna need all three. <laughs> so we will see here in a sec. I think this recipe is going to be delicious. I am embellishing it a little bit, adding some stuff to it that I think would taste better. I do that a lot when I'm cooking. <laughs> I think two of these are probably going to be good. I'll probably end up freezing the other one. to get all the pieces off of this. I don't like to waste. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to wash my hand and then we'll chop this up. Okay, Let's see if I can do this with this instead of dirtying the, the meat masher. <laughs> Bit. 
Okay, let's stir this. Okay, I'm just going to let that simmer for a minute. I'm going to add a tiny bit more flour here. I'm just going to mix it in while I'm whisking. I don't want it to be too liquidy. So let's turn this up a little bit to simmer it. <clears throat> Add a little bit more pepper here. I don't want it to be bland. If you don't like seeing the black specks in your Alfredo sauce, you can use white pepper. Works just as good. I find white pepper has a little bit more mild of a flavor though, so keep that in mind. I think ground chicken was the, the right choice for this recipe. I don't use ground chicken a lot, but for this recipe I think it was, it was a good idea. Okay. Okay, let's start adding some of the Parmesan cheese. Just have to open the container here. I wanted fresh grated, but it was outrageously expensive. And um, so I decided to buy two containers that were already freshly sliced and grated. It was cheaper and it's the same, to me it's the same. <laughs> Just gonna let that melt. I might need to add the other one as well. We'll see. Might even need to add a little bit more heavy cream. I have it ready here. Um, you can also add other cheeses like Asiago or Gouda um, to this or Romano cheese even. I just decided to do just Parmesan today. Okay, I think we're done with the whisk for now. Hopefully. <laughs> it's like stuck to it. Okay. Let's get a spoon. So I'm going to taste this in a minute and see if it needs anything else. We need to add more heavy cream or more parmesan. More than likely more parmesan. We did double the recipe. So one of these is going to be for dinner tonight. As you can see, it's only 137. So um, we're just going to make the, the Alfredo lasagnas together, but you won't really see me bake it, but I'll tell you how I would bake it. But I do like to do this often where I make double the amount and put one in the freezer for a different day that I don't have time to cook. So if you don't have a lot of time to, to dedicate a whole day to freezer meals, which I do do also, um, then doing it in this manner where you make just an extra one of something is probably your best bet. You're already making dinner anyways, just make double the amount. Okay, a couple more minutes and this chicken's done. There's a few little pink pieces in there still. Let's taste the sauce. See if it needs anything else. That's really good. Mm. Dang. <laughs> Sometimes I surprise myself. <laughs> That's really yummy. Um, it does need a little bit more salt and a little bit more pepper though. But the, the taste of it is really good. I think I might even add a little bit more garlic. So I'm going to add some garlic powder. Let's see how that tastes. It's really nice and cheesy though and creamy.
Okay, so I saw this trick where you just pour it right onto your spoon so you don't have to uh, rewash your spoon. <laughs> Mmm, that's perfect. I don't think we need any more Parmesan, believe it or not. I actually thought we would need more and we don't. That was really good. Okay, I think that's perfect. So I'm just going to let this simmer for a couple minutes till this is done. Just to let it thicken just a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to clean up and then we will put everything together. So this is my freezer meal container. I like these ones because they have lids and they snap on. And then this is the one that we're going to use for dinner. So let's start by putting some Alfredo sauce on the bottom. I'm going to get a ladle. I think that would be easier. Okay, so we're going to put some on the edge here all down on the bottom pardon me not the edge it's very cheesy <laughs> hopefully I made enough sauce I'm just gonna bring it closer okay so I'm gonna put this together exactly how I would do my normal lasagna so I'm going to put a little bit of this down on the bottom and then we're gonna put noodles, more sauce. <laughs> so I usually just sprinkle it. Like that, spread it around. I don't fill my layers a ton. Put it around a bit. Okay. Now I have these fresh pre-made uh, lasagna sheets from the grocery store. We're gonna use these. Let's see here. I can use the ends on the corners here. I really like these, especially for freezer meals. They work great and I really love them because of the way they taste. They taste so much better than regular lasagna noodles. Okay, so now we're going to add more sauce. I want to make sure we have a lot of sauce on here just because the noodles will need time to cook and it will soak up a lot of the sauce. So you don't want the lasagna to be dry. If we need to make some more sauce, we will. But hopefully I made enough. <laughs> okay, let's do this one. I'm just going to kind of put them right on the edges here. Hmm. Let's try half. I usually make my lasagna in a different pan. <laughs> Just layer them. <laughs> that. There's a whole bunch of sauce. delicious this sauce is so good I hope you make it it's delicious I think it's one of the best ones I've made actually I don't always make my sauce fresh so it's a treat when I do <laughs> and chop some of this chicken up a little bit some of the chunks are a little big okay and then I'm just gonna sprinkle like I did on the bottom layer Like that. 
spread it out. If you want to add other vegetables or anything else like cottage cheese or uh, what is ricotta cheese, you can do that. That's completely up to your discretion. Another layer on the one for dinner. I think maybe I should have made more filling too. It's all right. Okay. And more noodles. I've got another one here. I usually go through one of these her lasagna, so I knew I would need to. <laughs> Spread it around. I don't mind the layers being thicker for the noodles. Gives lasagna more um, uh, substance. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> Some on the edges here. Just making sure all of the noodles are really, really covered. Make sure there's enough sauce so that once it's... Just give you a close-up. See the sauce on the side there? Looks delicious. Okay, everyone, so that sauce was delicious. I hope you guys try it. It's, it's a winner. Like, <laughs> I really like that one. Um, so, yeah, I hope you found this informative, and uh, I hope you guys join me next time. Bye.